Where does self-confidence come from? Not neglecting, first of all, the small daily disciplines. Self-confidence really comes from feeling good about yourself. And one of the best ways to feel good about yourself is at the end of the day to know that you poured it on, you did your best. At the end of those kind of days, when you feel good about yourself, self-confidence starts to rise. You know that if you can have this kind of a good day, you can have another one the next day, and those days become the weeks, the weeks become the months, and the month becomes a powerful year. At the end of the day, when you've really poured it on and you've done all the stuff, self-confidence grows. That self-confidence affects your health, it affects your future, it affects your psyche. If you will change, everything will change for you. You don't have to change what's outside. All you've got to change is what's inside. To have more, you simply have to become more. He said, if you work hard on your job, you'll make a living. If you work hard on yourself, you can make a fortune. Work hard on yourself and develop the skills. Work hard on yourself and develop the graces. Let the miracle of everything that's available work for you and start working on the inside. Work on your philosophy, work on your attitude, work on your personality, work on your language, work on the gift of communication, work on all of your abilities. And if you'll start making those personal changes, I'm telling you, everything will change. Promise yourself you'll read the books until your skills change. You'll go to seminars until you get a handle on it. You'll listen to it until it makes sense. You'll go for it until you understand it. You'll practice it until you develop the skill. Never give up until then you'll discover some of life's best treasures when you